What's up, Lively? I'm your host, Bradley Caviejo, and this is The Dating Game. Let's introduce our contestants. We have some beautiful contestants here. So contestant number one is Peyton. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> I'm just so excited. I, I can see that. Okay. We have lovely contestant, Caitlin, number two. I am single and ready to mingle. There you go. All right, girly. All right. Contestant number three is Carly here. Hi. Anything else to say here? <laughs> okay. All right. Let the games begin, Lively. All right, Lively. So let's introduce our lovely, handsome bachelor, Jacob. Come on. Come and introduce yourself. Do you have anything to say? I'm very excited to be here. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. Yeah, let's find you a date, man. You're desperate. I prepared a few questions to ask the three contestants to see which one is the one. So let's do your first question, Jacob. Let's see what you've uh, stormed up in your weird imagination. For the first question, finish the sentence. Love is... Peyton, what do you think? What was the first thing that came to mind? Okay. Odd answer. So. Me. Good answer. All right, contestant number three, what do you think? Pancakes. Okay. Don't know what to say here. All right. Yeah. Who are you thinking so far just off that first? Uh, pancake girls or? Yeah, definitely pancakes. All right. <laughs> All right. So what's your next question here, Jacob? So for, my next question is, what is your spirit animal? So Peyton, what is your spirit animal? <laughs> my spirit animal is a mountain goat. <laughs> okay, so beautiful. There you go. All right. What is your spirit animal? An alpaca. You guys have some very specific um, spirit animals here. Okay. Let's ask the third question here. If we had to share a bunk bed, would you be on the top or bottom bunk? Oh, that seems oddly specific here, eh? All right. I'd be on the bottom bunk. Any reason why? Or? Um, bottom's better, <laughs> and I'm not done. And and you could like make forts, you know. So it's just better like that. Okay. Definitely the top. I think I'd have to agree with that, Jacob. I'm always open. Contest number four here. All right, contest number three. <laughs> Bottom. Why? Because I always hit my head on the top bunk on the roof. You, you think you would hit the head both ways, though. Jacob, what was your favorite answer there? Uh, definitely contestant number one, but number three made very valid points of hitting your head. Yeah, you're very tall man. He's six foot. He's over six foot. I know you guys haven't seen him, but... All right, we're on to question number four here. So, Jacob, what do you have? If you met my parents, how would you act? Oh, that's a very good question. If I met your parents, I would specifically flirt with your dad. I want the dad. Um, dad's mine to flirt with. Sorry, Peyton. We could share them. We definitely could. Like three? Jacob, can we have your dad? I don't think it He's a married man. <laughs> Not after me and <laughs> All right, so we actually skipped contest number two here. So, Caitlin? Um, dibs on the mom. <laughs> <laughs> what a great answer. All right. What answer did you like the best here, Jacob? None. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that. <laughs> All right, so what's your uh, next question here? Do you have a secret talent? Oh. I, I, I can make pancakes. <laughs> I can make anybody fall in love with me. True. I can wiggle my ears. Can we see that for the camera here? Okay, um, 
What uh, what are your um, opinions on those answers? Contestant number one has a great talent. Great talent. Contestant number two makes me kind of worry. <laughs> and contestant number three, I would love to see that afterwards. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a heavy question here. What's your next one here, Jacob? Next question. If you won the lottery, what would be the first thing you'd buy? What a great question here. How much money do I get? Uh, just you won the lottery. I don't... Um, I'd go... I'd, I'd probably, like... I'd go to the mall and get, like, cool outfits, and then I'd go, and then I'd go, like... What's your favorite store? Um, I'd go travel around the world with, like... What's your favorite place? Place where? Around the world. Uh, I don't know. I've never been. Uh, I would definitely buy a one-way ticket to Paris with your mother. <laughs> okay. Uh, contest number three, if you won the lottery, what would you spend the money on? Myself. Great answer. All right. All right, Lively. It's time to see who Jacob found for true love. All right, Jacob. Let's hear it. Don't pick Peyton. Don't pick Peyton. Don't pick Peyton. Okay. Who do you think has your heart, Jacob? I think... Don't pick Peyton. <laughs> I think it might be contestant number two. Contestant number two. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Let's see this. All right, after picking contestant number two, let's see what you missed out on. All right, contestant number one, please stand up. All right, so that's what you missed out on. Peyton, come introduce yourself. Hey. Hello. This is what you could have had. How do you feel about this? She's definitely pretty, but her answers were a little, My like, unsure. Fantastic. No, they were fantastic. This host over here is waving the mic in my face. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry. She's mine. Like, you, you'd rather have somebody that wants your mom? <laughs> well, you want my dad. Like, what and is dad. I could have both. I do want oh, that's a little awkward, you know, him being my dad. Mm -hmm. mm. Whatever. Mm. <laughs> All right, so now that you just uh, introduced yourself to contestant number one, and I know you feel like you uh, missed a good opportunity here. I'm glad you didn't. Uh, All right, so let's introduce contestant number three. All right, come on in, Carly. Hello. Here, come introduce yourself. All right, so this is beautiful young Miss Carly. So, how do you feel, Jacob? Once again, definitely beautiful, but her answers were a little vague. All right, so you just introduced yourself. I know you took a big L again, but uh, let's introduce yourself to your pick for true love. All right, come on in, contestant number two. Oh, there's beautiful Miss Caitlin. All right. Are you guys gonna hug or? Actually, can can I get your mom's phone number? Jacob, let down once again. I'm sorry. All right, looks like Jacob picked contestant number two. Hopefully that works out. Probably won't. Anyway, thanks lively for watching the dating game. If you like this episode, you know we're always do more. And uh, see you next time on the love game. <laughs>